All right. So, Big Murph, thanks for talking with us today. Um, So we wanted to kind of touch base with you. You know, we've been following you for a little while now. Um, Talked to you kind of in the beginning when you sort of came out or what we felt like the beginning. And you've done a lot since then. So so take us, you know, through kind of, you know, in, in a fast forward type of way what the last six months have been like for Big Murph. Well, let's see. I mean, shows, I focus a lot on trying to do shows. I think that that really helps your brand grow when you actually get in front of people um, and then meet them personally, you know, like a lot of times, most of the time, unless I have to hurry and rush to another show, I'm after my set or even before my set, I'm, you know, mingling in the crowd and talking to people. You know, there's times where people don't know who I am and then afterwards they do because they, you know, I talk to them. They're like, well, I can't wait to see your show. And then I do the show and they find me afterwards. They're like, you know, that was killer. Um, you know, so shows is the main focus for me. And then obviously putting out content as far as music goes. Um, I don't really focus on doing a whole lot of day to day video rants or anything like that. Like it's not really my style. I like to put out just music and then do the shows and stuff. But yeah, um, behind the scenes there's a lot of phone conversations um you know to to stay busy and keep getting shows you have to reach out to a lot of people and you get a lot of no's but you get a lot of yeses too um so (laughs) so what you're saying six months i also got picked up by a booking company um live fast entertainment um and they have a you know a really good roster a second chance is on there up church is on there adam calhoun justin tom um, Best Believe, uh, Katie Noel, um, Tennessee Sticks. I know I'm, I'm forgetting somebody, so forgive me. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, that, they, they've helped a lot, too, in the past six months, uh, helping me get shows. Um, you know, so they're working and I'm working. It makes it a lot easier. So and what you're saying is show. things don't just fall in your lap. You actually have to work for them, right? Yeah, very hard, actually. <laughs> I think um, some people forget that. So so you got signed by Live Fast. Um, what was that like? Did they contact you? Um, that's kind of a um, well, big deal. So me, me and Upchurch are buddies now. Like We only live like 25 minutes away from each other. Um, we grew up, you know, like that. But I didn't know him when I was growing up. He didn't know me. We actually met because I was doing shows. And I was booked on several shows with him and... We just kept meeting at shows, meeting at shows, and then finally we hit it off, and then he was like, you only live 20 minutes from me. I was like, well, cool. And then we started kicking it, and then, so he kind of put in the word for me with it, with Live Fast uh, that he wanted me to open for him because he liked my performance. He liked uh, the liveness of it, you know, the intensity, because we jump around and headbang and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But, um, so it was really him contacting them then they started sliding me on a few and then i got to know them on a personal level uh chad and chelsea and them and then you know we grew a relationship together and they started working with me like that it was it wasn't like a a quick hey we want to sign you to live fast uh booking company and then that that happened you know it was more of like a, a a few months of just filling it out and getting to know each other and then it just kind of worked into uh what it is now Okay, okay, cool. 